every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 251st day of my challenge where I'm gonna try a recipe which is so close to my heart. I grew up eating roasted stuff and roasted, okay, what was the name? <laughs> roasted winter root vegetables sounds so delicious to me. I think it's just because I grew up really eating meats and roasted veggies all around it, so it's definitely comfort food for me and definitely something what I wasn't planning to skip. Uh, so I'll just mention quickly some of the substitutions I will do in this recipe just so that I wouldn't need to skip it. So the original recipe calls for sweet potatoes. Now you know that currently I'm still in Iran and unfortunately the city I live in doesn't really supply me with such products as sweet potatoes, so I figured what's the easiest substitution? Hmm, I, I thought long and hard, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Potatoes. I'll just substitute the equal amount of simple potatoes because there can never be too many potatoes for a Lithuanian as me. And you know, just like a little side note, I just noticed it started snowing and you know what's bizarre? I'm originally from Lithuania, which is far up north if you look on the map. And currently I am in Iran, which is so south and far away from Lithuania. And my whole family was complaining that this winter was rainy, like literally. There was almost no snow whatsoever. And it's snowing here almost nonstop since I don't know when, for how many months already. It's such a deep, nice winter, which I'm just enjoying so much because I hear all the complaints from others. And I understand that, you know, when I move from south, <laughs> I might not see winter. But it's so bizarre that somewhere so south on the map, we have way better winter than such a deep, cold, northern country as Lithuania. It's just so funny. So anyways, back to the ingredients, it was like just a side note. Um, the other two uh, ingredients I want to mention are the fresh herbs, which Laura uses, namely rosemary and thyme. And uh, these are usually the things I substitute with the dry ones, just because, again, I cannot really find here. Uh, and Laura mentioned herself that that's okay. For a brief second, I was considering the burning factor, you know, because everything will be roasting in the oven. But then I thought, wait, wait a second. Don't fresh herbs burn easier? I mean, they're so fragile. I don't know, but in any case, <laughs> I'm gonna be using dry herbs. And whenever you're substituting fresh ones to dry ones, you want to keep the ratio one to a third, one being fresh ones, and a third being the dry ones. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to mention. The very last thing I want to say is that I have a very strong feeling that this might as well be the very last recipe I will try on this challenge in Iran, in this flat, just because we're moving really, really soon. And I have a feeling that next week I will simply not have enough utensils. Um, and like stuff to actually try something in. So it's really hard for me to plan. I don't want to make it a big goodbye, but because I might still try, but I too have this bittersweet feeling like the journey here is kind of ending up and oh, what a journey it was, right? But I'm not saying I'm stopping my challenge just here in this flat in Iran, here on this day or some other day, but most probably this one. But okay, I'm stopping, <laughs> I'm stopping because I don't want to get sad and this makes me kind of sad, like ending of a story. So anyways, back to cooking. Let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need two large carrots, two parsnips, three large potatoes, one large onion, one head of garlic, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, six grams of fresh parsley, chopped, one teaspoon of dry rosemary, one teaspoon of dry thyme, and salt and pepper. The 
first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my oven to preheat to 230 degrees just because my current oven is a gas oven and it really takes some time like it's not hurrying anywhere while preheating especially to such high temperatures so while it will be doing that I'm gonna prep the veggies so I'm gonna peel the carrots the parsnips the onion and then I'm gonna scrub the potatoes and wash the garlic as well just because I'm not gonna peel the garlic so I'm choosing to scrub the potatoes and leave them with the skin even though it takes me way longer than just peeling them just because I really love potatoes with skin so once everything is prepared then I'm gonna work on chopping everything up into similar size pieces but kind of big chunks at the same time and separating each clove separately. <laughs> To this, I'm gonna add pretty much everything else, minus the parsley, that's for the very very end, but other than that you see every single uh, other ingredient that's left. So I'm gonna season everything with salt and pepper, and I'm gonna be really generous because I do have a lot, a lot of veggies here. I'm gonna sprinkle over uh, rosemary and thyme, drizzle the extra virgin olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and then using Cook's Best Tools, I'm gonna stick them in here and just mix until everything is nicely coated with everything. Oh wait, you know what? Actually, before getting my hands dirty, let me just do one more little thing. Okay, oh, this is so good that I caught it before <laughs> making my hands dirty. So I want to line my baking sheet with some aluminum foil so that once I mix all of that, I can immediately transfer here without washing my hands first. So I will totally save at least the one hand washing. <laughs> Okay, how now to bring that baking sheet here? Oh, I know, maybe this will work. Okay, so now this will go on to the baking sheet in one nice single layer. And look at me, I really don't want to wash my hands today. <laughs> My god, this baking sheet is ginormous. I feel like I could make like one and a half portion of this recipe and I would still have some space. So I'm kind of like pushing it towards the center so it's all together. I don't know if I should do that, but it just looks nicer. So now I will wash my hands and then put this into the oven for one hour. But I will make sure, oh, there. Oh, here. <laughs> I will make sure to come and toss everything every 20 minutes or so. And I will pat it before I leave it go into the... This is so satisfying for me. I don't know why. I like... I like having my hands dirty. Don't ask me why. Don't know what that means. from what I've seen in camera that it might not do its justice but 
this in person like, in light when I shine light on it it looks so good I totally agree with Laura that when you have roasted veggies and this is what you want to see like deeply roasted oh what to try of course potato but which one my goodness okay I will just take the top thingy it's not a potato it's carrot oh it's so hot oh my god who needs pork mm, this is Ooh. It wasn't expected. Parsnip. I'm not that familiar with parsnip. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's so hot. No one saw that. You have to try. Mm. It's really, really hot. The garlic. Roasted garlic is something so, like, mm, you would never think and expect it to taste that good. <laughs> I'm so excited about my dinner. I cannot explain it to you, but I think from lack of eye contact with you, I think you can gather. I'm really excited. <laughs> I have lots of parsley left just because I also would prefer serving this in something like a like a thinner and longer kind of plate mm, I feel something <laughs> in front of my teeth so it's just like it spreads more and you can see individual um, individual veggies and then this amount of parsley would be enough for now, I don't really have such a plate, but I totally see that I would like to serve it in something, you know, long and skinny just so that you could display it more because even though it looks really cool like this, it would look so fancy. No longer for man, 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 man. If you like roasted stuff. Onion, garlic, carrot is so nice and sweet parsnip you bite into parsnip parsnip and you're like whoa who's this guy <laughs> and potato i mean potato is always the best so okay hands off the food <laughs> this is really really great i love such kind of food i see myself making this again and again because it's really it's a perfect side dish to, I feel like, any kind of meal because it's just, you know, roasted veggies and everyone can choose what they like best and who doesn't like roasted vegetables or roasted stuff in general? Don't ask me. Ah, it's so hard not to take. I feel like that kid from Home Alone. Was it from Home Alone? There was some movie where the kid has had the inclination to push the buttons might be not from home alone but I feel kind of like that like it's so hard to control hands so anyways this is great it has to go on your table as well this will definitely go into my best of the best uh, video I'm really sure of that for now I think it's time to say goodbye little goodbye just in case it's not the last one to this kitchen and my Iranian home and Iranian adventure and just open the door for the new one in Turkey so I really hope that this was fun and helpful if you want go and check the original recipe by Laura there you can find the written recipe and all the measurements in both American and the metric system in the description box down below as always so that anyone could make it as I'm having the hardest time controlling these I will sign off so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon somewhere else Probably. Bye!